All right, fruit lovers, quick update on the mangoes. This is like end of April, so what's that like? Three months after the great freeze, three months. My coconut cream is living. Doesn't look too good, does it? Remember, it was a beautiful shape. It's one of the best shaped coconut creams. It wasn't all weepy or anything. Great tree give me fruit already but got knocked back cold really got it I didn't chop it all the way back I knew it was still alive because it was weeping it was weeping sap and it couldn't be weeping sap unless it was still alive let's push that out way above the graft way above the graft so this tree is gonna live and so it survived 26 degrees, not very happily. Who knows if it will it'll do in the long run. But if we can get a few more, well, I'm gonna protect it in the future. So I'm not gonna let it freeze like that again. Let's have a look at Mr. Pickering. He didn't do so well. I don't water my mangoes too much, but it's like 92 degrees, no rain. And Mr. Pickering took a real beating. Is it coming back from above the graft? Probably not. It's probably it's probably a rootstock coming back. The only way we're going to find out is if next year these do to flower, then we'll know that it's a uh, pickering mango. If it goes back to um, producing leaves for the, and branches for the next few years, then it's the rootstock, and then I have to decide if I leave it or graft onto it. Anyway, they, this is pretty much how all my other mangoes look. They've died back to the to the rootstock. Only one that survived was uh, that larger coconut cream. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay positive. Keep a PMA. Positive mental attitude. See ya. Here's another tree that is recovering. Obviously didn't like the cold, but um, it's going to come back. This is a star fruit. This was quite a big tree. Again, but it got knocked back. Good thing is, if you've got a good roots, trees can come back. And this is, uh, this will fruit again quickly. Okay, this, um, I think this was an air layered longan, and uh, the longan was about eight foot tall. You can see it's knocked back. Three months later, it's got some nice growth on it, hasn't it? Big sweetheart did not make it. It pushed out some new growth down the bottom. And that's died too. The Brewster's over there pretty much unfazed. A little bit of damage but um, seemed to be a bit stronger. Big lychee is doing okay. Um, this is the Hackip. Most of the guavas look like this. They'll come back. They're pretty strong good root structure it'll come back but this was a big big tree this one's been here years and years it was on the property when i got here so you can see how cold it was that it would knock it back none of the sapodillas made it well i say that some of the little seedlings that are under the trees did but this was one i dug up moved it's not gonna make it dug up my patanga tubers but they were not too good I've repotted them they're gonna live same with the batomba that was uh badly affected but it's coming back my white guava and my white seedless guava i dug them up repotted them that is the kilo guava dug that up repotted it they're all gonna live blackberry jam tree died back it's coming back it's gonna be fine remember the beautiful avocado that was like 10 12 foot tall that was a seedling did not do well but avocados are strong spoke too soon about a grimy charmer didn't i grimy charmer i thought was going to make it through with no trouble but it got beaten back it's coming back now so if we don't have a bad couple winters it will get big enough that uh hopefully it can survive on its own this is what a jackfruit looks like after the freeze think it's dead but no it's coming back 
dug up the gift there out of Moya and repotted it. It's still alive. This is the Priestley. Let's see, it's coming back. Hopefully that's Priestley and not rootstock, but anyway, it's still alive. Red hog plum. It's coming back. I don't think it's going to be too good long term, but still alive. Now I dug up my jagged bowed carbers and moved them over here under the oak trees and they looked dead, certainly mostly dead. This one's coming back nicely. This one is taking its time. I think there's some greenery there coming. It's still alive. It's got some little green shoots. Got to keep these really wet. I got to give it. Uh, I got to give it water almost every day. Otherwise, those new leaves burn off. Here's another one. That one. That one looked. This one looked like the other one, but it's um, recovered much better. My mystery tree. I don't know what this is. It dies back even in the regular winter, but uh, looked pretty bad this year. And it's coming back with some stuff way up, like three feet up. Last tree, which don't let it here. We wouldn't have minded if it died, but the noni. Noni, I was, I came out here and I was like, Put, gonna pull it out of the ground and then I thought hold on those roots don't look too bad but look it's sending shoots up too so the no need look at that I was even gonna I was gonna cut it off I was gonna cut it off cut it away but it is surviving so there you have it uh trees like these star fruit that were underneath the trees did fine stuff out in the open did terrible all about microclimate, microclimate, microclimate. Even on the same property, a couple of feet can make the difference. Anyway, uh, there you go. Just showing you some of my trees, how they're doing. Um, again, keep a PMA. Positive mental attitude. Bye.